Namaste friends, it is me Achan Upadhyaya from Math Art Studio. You are welcome to the studio. Today also we are continuing our artistic presentation in properties of triangles. We will be continuing that in a very magical way today. So watch the video throughout the session. Thank you very much. Let us take a triangular sheet of paper and paste it on this paper. Glue at the back. This way, glue on the back and paste it in the sheet of paper. Okay. And take another sheet of congruent triangle with this one. Congruent means if geometrical shapes they fit each other perfectly, then they are called congruent shape. That's the intuitive definition. And now Take similar one, exactly um, similar to that one, congruent to that one, and then draw the height in it. You draw the height in this one. So this is new presentation. I had told you area of the triangle is uh, double of the rectangle. Area of the triangle is half of the rectangle. Today, as I said yesterday, area of the triangle is just equal to the area of the rectangle. We are, we are doing several approaches keeping in mind that if students are given lot many alternatives and they will adopt any one of them which interests them, you know, that way uh, the learning becomes very much uh, effective. Everybody would be involved in learning and everybody will learn from different methods. That is the system with us. Now, after this, you know, this is the foot of this perpendicular. This is the height of the triangle. And in this one, what do you do? You fold it this way. You fold it this way, so that this becomes parallel to that one, and this triangle becomes similar to the whole triangle, and at the same time, fold along the height. You fold along the height this way. And now, what do you do? You just cut them into pieces. You cut it this way, you know. Into pieces like this. And paste this one to the previous triangle. Together, you know. This way, you paste it here. So why I am doing so? Because I want to show you that the triangle is there already. That is why for that reason, you just draw the height in that red one also. This way, you draw the height. So your triangle is there. You may name it as ABC. Whatever color is there, never mind. You know, they are fitting shape and here in the pasting it has been a little bit different. I will show you the very accurate one, which I have been using regularly in my teaching classes after some time. And cut along this line. Now you have your triangle over here. This is the triangle. Now what you do is that you rotate it this way and take it here. It is fitted over there. And similarly you rotate about that point and take it over here. So, did you see here, can you tell in this situation that the area of the triangle is exactly equal to this rectangle, you know. The name of this rectangle may be uh, AB, ABC is the triangle and the rectangle is BC, EF, you can say that, you can name it this way, alright. Once the material is ready, you need the explanation. For that explanation, you may need one point over here at the foot of the perpendicular, D, and the midpoint of the perpendicular, Z. You know, you have these points over there. And now you start your explanation with the material, keeping the material in the font, and you just demonstrate your ideas how to prove it. Here, what we have said, area of the triangle. Area of the triangle 
equals to area of rectangle. Area of rectangle is what? Length into breadth you can write BC into breadth is CE. As done previously, you know BC is the same and this CE is equal to DG. CE is equal to DG. Okay. And what is this DG equal to? DG is half of that AD. Why it is half? We had folded it. We had folded this uh, up to this point D. So dividing it into two equal halves, you know. So for that, it is half of the height AD. Here the further explanation is this. This BC is also the base of this triangle ABC. That is why it is the base of triangle ABC. And what is AD? Half. Half. AD is height of the triangle, you know. Half height of the triangle. Base of the triangle into half height of the triangle. We have that one. So always while writing in mathematics, in mathematical expressions, in the algebraic form, what do we do? We write the coefficient in the first half. Base of the triangle ABC is abbreviated by B. And height of the triangle is abbreviated by H. Therefore, the area abbreviated by delta as usual is equal to half base into height. This is the generalization. So that way different approach we have used here and a student can choose any one of them which they feel very much comfortable. Yeah. That is. For the classroom use I have the material made in the cartoon paper. Uh, you can use cardboard sheet also, you can do this thing in the plywood also. What you do here is that you just cut along this line. Okay, so the material is ready now. Now what you do, you, you just put your finger at the back and take out this triangle and fit it over here. And take out this one and fit it over here. You carry out the explanation, you know. Take these triangles from here and fit them over here in that appropriate place. And now the triangle has gone into the rectangle this way. Then you can do the explanation as we did before, exactly like this, you know. Dear friends, I have as an alternative the same material done in another way. Uh, I have this material over here. Here is the triangle and there is the height and the mid parallel drawn. And now uh, you can rotate this. It, it goes here. And you rotate this, it goes here, you know. This way, you can verify that the area of the triangle is equal to the area of the rectangle and which is equal to this base into half height. And that's the same with this triangle also. Well, dear friends, now we are in the gift session. Yesterday I had announced that, I had given the problem and I had announced that uh, the one who solves this thing by his method, not using the theorems or axioms or postulates, not with statements and reason, but with material and manipulative, and that person will deserve a kind of gift from math studio. Now I am with that one and I would like to congratulate Mr. Niroj Sresta. So Niroj is from uh, Postal Academy, uh, it is in uh, Pepsi Cola Kathmandu and he just taught mathematics as a tuition teacher from 2060 to 2068 and in institutes and in coaching. And now, since 2069, he has been teaching mathematics uh, to the students in different schools. And now he is in uh, Coast of Academy and partially works in, um, this is Oxerica School in Gathatar, Kathmandu. So, Gathatar is in Bhaktapur. He is from Bhaktapur and I would like to congratulate Mr. Niroj for your solution. Okay, here is the gift and I'll just open it and actually this is the thing which I, ha I think myself I have done the very great thing in my life and that great thing I like to 
just uh, present you. This is Demystified Maths. It is a very rare book. It is written by me, but it is not available in the market. And this one actually is the one which has been helping me nowadays to bring out all these different kind of presentation. I'll show you. Okay, this is the book which I have written. And in this one, I have said earlier, everything what I am doing these days is from this book. And these are found in Math Art series also. That's also the series written by me. And the first presentation was, yesterday's presentation was this. Area of the triangle is equal to the area of the rectangle. And at the same time, today's presentation is this. And the first presentation is this. That way, whole book is the resource book for the development of mathematics lab in your school, in everybody's school. It has covered a lot many topics in mathematics. It is beautifully designed and it is in a very good paper. And this is the worth collection for you. I hope you will enjoy it. Congratulations, Niroz, for your hard work. Okay, dear friends, thank you for watching Math Heart Studio. Uh, keep watching every day. You will be getting something new, uh, interesting and challenging in the field of mathematics. And I actually wanted to do different kind of arts also, but what I thought is, uh, teaching is also a kind of art. It is the biggest art. That is why our approach throughout our studio would be focused mostly on teaching ideas of mathematics in a joyful and child-friendly manner. Keep watching and encouraging us. Thank you.